this problem we have to find the derivative of the inverse sine of x over 2, so sine inverse of x over 2. So there is a formula for this. If you take the derivative with respect to x of the inverse sine of x, this is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So here, uh, instead of x, we have x over 2. So we have to use the chain rule. So let's go ahead and take that derivative. So y prime is equal to 1 over the square root of, then it's 1 minus, and then x over 2. So that's being squared. Now we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is x over 2. To think of that in an easier way, we can write x over 2 as 1 half times x. So we just take the derivative of x, which is 1, and then the 1 half hangs out. So we get times 1 half. And we could probably simplify our answer quite a bit. Um, let's go ahead and do that. This is y prime equals, I'm going to put the 1 half in the front here. Then we have 1 over the square root of x over 2 squared is really x squared over 4. So let's write this as 1 minus x over 4. This is equal to 1 half times 1 over. What you can do now with the 1 is you can think of it as 4 over 4. So we really have 4 over 4 minus x over 4. So that's really 4 minus x over 4. So we have 4 minus x over 4. So this is equal to 1 half times 1 over. There's a property of square roots that says you can take the square root of each piece. So this is the square root of 4 minus x over the square root of 4. Notice how I put the parentheses here. They're already there, it's just I didn't want to cause confusion because when you have a fraction over a fraction, it's really important that you realize that the entire denominator and numerator are in parentheses. So this is equal to 1 half times. And then it's 1 divided by all this. So when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal. So it's really the square root of 4 over the square root of 4 minus x. So this is 1 half times 2 over the square root of 4 minus x. And the 2's cancel, and so you get 1 over the square root of 4 minus x. And that would be the derivative. So we did a lot of simplification. Is it really necessary? I don't think so, um, but I wanted to show a little bit of extra work. I hope this video has been helpful.